Welcome to Structure for Architecture. In this video, I will discuss about the design of RCC water tank. Let us have an uh, introduction of this topic. The most common types of water overhead water tanks are number 1, the circular tank, number 2, the inch type tank, number 3, the conical or the funnel shaped tank. Circular tanks with a horizontal uh, or flat floor slab is economical for a smaller storage capacity of uh, up to say 4 lakh liter with diameter is in the range of 8 to 12 meter. The depth of the storage is generally between 3 to 4 meters. Now when water is filled in the circular tank, the hydrostatic water pressure tries to increase the diameter at any section. However, this increase in the diameter all along the height of the tank will depend upon the nature of the joint at the junction of the wall and the bottom slab. Now, if the joint is flexible, that is the sliding joint, the joint between the wall and the bottom slab, if that joint is flexible or sliding joint, it will be free to move up outward. So, the hydrostatic pressure at the top is zero. So, there will be no change in the diameter at the top, but the hydrostatic pressure at the joint at the bottom will be maximum. So, resulting in the maximum increase in diameter there and hence the maximum movement if the joint is flexible. So, in this video, I am discussing about the design of water tank, circular uh, water tank and the flexible base and the flexible base. So, but in case of a, the, the base is rigid, the design differs. In that case, what happens? The side walls are designed for the circumferential hoop tension and the bending moment since the walls are fixed to the floor slab at the junction. The design forces are determined using the coefficients recommended in IS 3370 part 4. IS 3370 part 4. The coefficients are expressed as a function of the non-dimensional parameter h square by dt where uh, h is the height of the water tank, d is the diameter of the tank and t is the thickness of the tank wall. So please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, look for more videos um, on the uh, circular water tank with a rigid base. Currently uh, in this video I will explain about the design of the circular wa RCC circular water tank with a flexible base. Let us uh, read the problem. Design a circular water tank with a flexible base of capacity 4 into 10 to the power 5 liters. Depth of the water is 4 meter. Free board is 200 millimeter. And uh, here uh, use uh, we are using M20 concrete. And the permissible stress in the steel is given as 115 MPa. Now before starting of the problem you should know some basic uh, conversion that is 1 liter is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube and 1 meter is equal to 10 cube millimeter. So uh, the capacity is given as 4 into 10 to the power 5 liter. So if we multiply it into 10 to the power minus 3 we will get 4 into 10 square that is 400 meter cube. So first we will do this conversion. Depth of the water is capital H uh, that is equal to 4 meter. Free board is equal to 200 millimeter so that is equal to 0 0.2 meter. And uh, now we can start the problem solution. So step number one first we should find out the diameter of the um, circular tank. So effective depth of the water will be small h will be total depth uh, height is uh, depth of the water is 4 meter. So 4 minus free board that is 0 0.2 that is 3.8 meter. Now if D is the inside diameter of the tank volume is equal to how we can find out the volume volume is equal to area multiplied by h. So volume is 4 into 10 square and what is area area is pi by 4 into d square of a circular base area is pi by 4 into d square into what is height height is 3.8 so from this equation we can find out the capital D that is the inside diameter of the tank as 11.62 meter so write the conclusion as provide a diameter of 11.7 meter now let us see step number two unit weight of water is equal to 9800 newton per meter cube 
और टेन थाउजेंड न्यूटन पर मीटर क्यूब और टेन किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर क्यूब सो दिस आर द स्टैंडर्ड वैल्यू यू शुड रिमेंबर नाउ नेक्स्ट इज द मैक्सिमम हुप टेंशन मैक्सिमम हुप टेंशन कैन बी फाउंड आउट बाई गामा एच इन टू डी बाई टू सो हुप टेंशन आई एम डिनोटिंग हियर एज कैपिटल एच सब्सक्रिप्ट टी सो गामा वैल्यू ऑफ वाटर इज नाइनटी एट हंड्रेड कैपिटल एच इज इक्वल टू फोर D D is the diameter. Just now we have taken the conclusion that it is eleven point seven meter. So eleven point seven by two. That gives us two twenty nine point three two into ten cube newton per meter height. So area of the hoop steel that should be provided at the base A S T. We can find it out by the H T by sigma S, where sigma is S is the permissible uh, stress in the steel. So H T is two twenty nine point three two into ten cube divided by hundred and fifteen. So that is one nine nine four millimeter square per meter. So area of the hoop steel at the base we have found out. Now let us take twenty millimeter diameter bar. So area of one bar is equal to pi by four into twenty square. That is three hundred fourteen millimeter square. Uh, so spacing we can find it out thousand into a five by a s t. This is the standard. All uh, these are all the standard steps for the um, R C C design. So thousand into Uh, three hundred fourteen and uh, total AST was one nine nine four. So if you put it comes out to be one fifty seven millimeter. So provide uh, hoop uh, of twenty uh, millimeter diameter at the rate of let us say one fifty millimeter center to center. Here you can take it as one sixty also. Uh, whatever it is, I have taken one fifty millimeter CC at the base. But you specify it. It is at the base we are designing. So now. AST provided is how much? AST provided we can find it out thousand into FI divided by S. So that comes out to be two zero nine three millimeter square. What is AST provided? That is how much finally we are providing. What is AST? Uh, initially we have found out that is what is our requirement. Our requirement was one nine nine four. Now currently we are providing two zero nine three millimeter square. Now step number three that we can find out the thickness uh, by the empirical formula. So the formula uh, given in the code that is T is equal to thirty h plus fifty. Remember h value you should put it in meter, and T value whatever you will get that will be in millimeter. Don't try to match the units on the left hand side and the right hand side because this is the empirical formula. So what is capital H? That was four meter. So four into thirty that is one twenty plus fifty that is one seventy millimeter. So that is the thickness. So let us provide a thickness of one seventy millimeter throughout its height. Now step number four. Now in the IS code it is specified that at the top top of the tank minimum zero point three percent reinforcement is provided, and spacing is also increased near the top. So AST is equal to zero point three percent means zero point three divided by hundred multiplied by thousand into one seventy. What is one seventy? One seventy is the thickness and thousand is per one meter length. So thousand into one seventy. So five hundred ten millimeter square. Now spacing how we can find out same formula thousand into fi by ast we are providing twenty millimeter diameter but that decision we have taken in the step number two so thousand into three hundred fourteen divided by five ten it is equal to six hundred millimeter but here take a pause take a pause in the code it, it is specified that the spacing cannot exceed three times the thickness of the tank. What is the thickness of the tank? One seventy. So three times of one seventy is five hundred ten. So it cannot exceed that. So though we are getting it as six hundred millimeter, but let us provide the spacing at the rate of five hundred cc at the top. And what is the bar diameter we have taken? Twenty millimeter diameter bar we have taken. We are not changing the diameter of the bar. Okay. Now see, as I have explained you um, earlier, also at the base, as it is a flexible base, at the base uh, the diameter uh, increases, and at the top, and also the hydrostatic pressure is the maximum. At the top, it is less, so it will be economical for us, and it will be judicious for us if we provide the. Uh, let us provide the same number, uh, same diameter bar, but let us uh, provide it economically by varying the spacing of the bar. Correct. For example, the total height of the water tank is uh, four meter. That is given, 
at the top we have found out uh, we have given the bar uh, spacing as the 500 cc at bottom how much we have given at the bottom base we have given as 150 millimeter uh, cc correct center to center now let us say at the mid height mid height means at 2 meter from uh, uh, from the top what will be the spacing because we if we provide though we can provide 170 millimeter center to center throughout it is but it should not be economical or we cannot provide 500 millimeter center to center throughout so if uh, to make it economical if we vary the spacing of the bar so it will be more economical design so now let us uh, design that part spacing at the rate of 2 meter below the top you follow the same step as mentioned in step number 2 what was the step number 2 that is hoop tension is gamma h d by 2 now the same step we are doing gamma is 9800 what will be h now h will be 2 meter in the step number 2 while we are designing for the base h we have taken it as 4 meter now we are designing at a 2 meter height from the top so it will be how much 2 h will be 2 and D will be 11.7 by 2. So, now this comes out to be 115 into 10 cube Newton per meter. So, AST for this is the similar as uh, of the step number 2. If you have understood the step number 2, this is the similar step. Only we are putting the value of capital H as 2. And then follow the same pro, uh, procedure. So, AST comes out to be 1000 millimeter square per meter height. FI is 314 millimeter square as we are taking 20 millimeter diameter bar. So, spacing here comes out to be 314 millimeter. Let us say, uh, let us provide 300 millimeter center to center at the mid height. So, now we have uh, got all the data in a proper way. At the base, we are providing 170, uh, sorry, 150 center to center. At top, we are providing 500 center to center. At mid height, we are providing 300 center to center. But the diameter of the bar is same, that is the 20 millimeter diameter bar. So, this completes step number 4. Uh, now let us design the step number 5 that is the vertical reinforcement. Uh, so vertical reinforcement are provided in the form of vertical bars number 1 at the rate of 0.3% of the concrete section up to 100 mm thickness and at the rate of 0.2% for sections thicker than 100 mm and less than 450 mm. Here I am taking 0.28%. Um, so, AST is 0 0.28 by 100 into 1000 into 170. 170 is the thickness. So, it is coming as 476 millimeter square. So, vertical reinforcement, let us take uh, it as 10 millimeter diameter bar. So, one bar area is 78.5 millimeter square. Uh, so, a spacing comes out to be 165 millimeter. Now, provide a 10 millimeter diameter bar at the rate of 160 center to center in the vertical direction this is step number five let us look at the last step step number six that is the design of the tank floor um, so here provide a minimum uh, thickness of 150 millimeter nominal reinforcement of 0.3 percent in each direction is required let us uh, see that how much it comes out to be so ast minimum is equal to 0.3 divided by 100 into 1000 into 150 because here in the um, uh, tank floor we are giving the thickness of 150 okay so it comes out to be 450 millimeter uh, square in each direction now providing half the reinforcement near each face so half the reinforcement means 450 by 2 225 millimeter square now if you provide 8 millimeter diameter bar area of one bar is equal to 50 millimeter square so the spacing is uh, to it comes out to be 220 millimeter center to center so provide 8 millimeter diameter bar at the rate of 200 cc let us say in both directions at the top and the bottom of the floor slab and uh, floor slab uh, is resting on a 75 millimeter thick layer of uh, lean concrete covered with a layer of tar felt so next we will see about the design and the drawing details of the slab so as you can see that is uh, this is the diagram reinforcement uh, detailing diagram of the water tank circular water tank with a flexible base 170 millimeter is the thickness and 4 meter is the height um, so in the base uh, floor slab the thickness is given as 150 millimeter as you can see over here and uh, 
the reinforcement details as we have already found out that at the base it has been given 8 mm diameter bar at the rate of 200 cc in both ways we have given a layer of m100 concrete also at the base and a layer of tar felt this is about the floor slab i am discussing about the bottom of the from below from the bottom to the top i am going explaining the diagram so and after that uh, there you can see that um, as i have discussed it earlier also that we are giving the 20 millimeter diameter bar but at the top it is 500 cc then at the mid height it is two, uh, 300 cc and at the base it is 150 cc so i have shown the four meter height into four section one two three four and like that way i have uh, discussed and in the vertical direction as we have found out we have given 10 millimeter diameter bar at the rate of 160 uh, cc so this is about the flexible uh, base circular water tank design please look for the video for the uh, circular water tank but with a rigid base thanks for watching please put on your comment in the comment box or you can email me for any uh, suggestion or any doubts Thanks for watching.